thanking God reveals your thinking. 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4. Since everything God created is good, we should not reject any of it, but receive it with thanks. Being grateful in life for everything is a choice. Paul writing to Timothy's aid and spiritual son encouraged him to remain thankful and not be deceived by the Ephesian people. Since some of them among the group had combined the ideas of Gnosticism along with the gospel and declared to people not to be married and that eating of certain food should be prohibited. This whole idea was false because it was nothing wrong to eat any food if we consider it given by God. We could eat with thanks and sanctify it through prayer. I'm sure this is true even today in this technocentric era. A lot of people brag about technology and their personal prowess over them, but they still will be stuck to their silliest stuff such as color of the clothing, timing of the day, and other aspects as bad omen. Who can be thankful? Only those who think about good things in life. Many people do not think on the good things, but they spend more time thinking of the bad and the negative aspects of life. We must consciously take time to think of those who have helped us. I have never forgotten my English teacher who inspired me to speak the language as I do. I am ever grateful for my friends who stood by me when my father died in an accident. I am thankful to my vacation Bible school leader Samuel Prabhakar who led me to the Lord and encouraged me to step out boldly into ministry. There were others too in the list and all that primarily my dad was an inspiration. Conscious thinking had enabled me to be thankful. However, when I see those whom I have helped, I wonder the way they have responded. Some have not considered the help as help at all, while few have felt it was part of my duty. The way people have responded shocked me. They haven't even have given a thought to anything. But if we have followed Jesus, it is important that we remain thankful for everything. Thanking God reveals your thinking. God bless you.